Hello and uh, uh, welcome to The Hacktivist. I'm Kevin Tame and today we are going to be doing coaching with the Big Unit 3000. So uh, Jonas, welcome. Hi guys. Um, thanks for uh, coming on here and uh, coaching me. I, we haven't done this in a while and I was, you know, I've been down about Netrunner ending. <laughs> yeah, you've been ending. busy with uh, other celebrity coachers. Well, I did have, yeah. yeah, I did have some other people, which was, which was cool, but it was also, um, I kind of thought like, you know, what am I going to do with myself? Am I going to keep streaming? I also moved. That was a big thing. Um, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So that was, I think that move was probably what really killed a lot of my recent net runner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that definitely does it. Yeah. Um, I know you moved, re you moved, you know, rel not, not too long ago, but you did. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I was definitely a little bit, uh, a little bit more stressed out. I had a little bit more load than usual. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. Well, cool. Getting back in the saddle. Getting back in the saddle, of course. Um, so, what are we gonna play? Uh, I, I think that um, I think that we've agreed on playing. Uh, it's called Bendy Max. It's by the the Madman Travis Yo himself, and it looks looks like a really um, fast out of the gate Max deck. Cool. Let's take a look here. I want to look at this list. Um, so let's transition over so everyone can see our stuff so i found this here bendy max atlanta, atlanta region i don't know who won this regional but he went five and oh and yeah that's that's like, travis yo yeah travis no. the yoda did he win it yeah he won it cool yeah so this seems like a pretty cool list though it's got econ out the wazoo it's got pad taps it's got um hopefully something to stop scarcity from going on um yeah. doesn't have Almakua. I, I like Almakua, but i don't know what um, you would cut right oh maxwell Jan i don't know maxwell it's good to have like two maxwell like if i was going to cut something for influence it'd be like maybe a pad tap or maybe i'd break up the deep data mining so but, it is nice to have yeah. Amakua, like because because sometimes that can be like your main breaker in certain matchups when you and you can get it really charged up to deal with like really expensive ice because Black Orchestra and MK Ultra are just really bad against like what is that Anasi um, and stuff like yep. that. Yeah, I, I mean it, it's great versus like the glaciery type stuff, um, but it's also it's a lot better with when you're playing out of Val with that pub and this this deck isn't really about getting lots and lots of runs. It's about making um a few runs that are powerful uh, so uh, i i think that i think that keeping the almaku out is probably right i mean it's got the ice carver to kind of make things a little bit better um but it's it, it's camping so i think like when whenever we're playing any sort of deck i think that what you want to do is you want to start out with the way that somebody who won a big event built it Mm -hmm. um you don't you don't actually have to um, make a whole lot of changes to it <laughs> yeah from what i was reading here a lot of people helped him like you know kind of think through it yeah i mean yeah <laughs> got some good uh netrunner players behind it so exactly cool well, let's cool. give it a roll um i already have it uploaded here okay corp we're gonna play runner And that did not load. Let's give it a try again. Maybe I canceled on accident. Sometimes you just gotta refresh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh. uh oh. This happens sometimes, you know? Uh, the, maybe the developers of JNet are like blocking Kevin Tame. Uh, I'm seeing, yeah, I'm seeing one. Uh, there we one go. One person in one of your games. So. Uh, I apologize. There we go. Now it's starting to go. Bendy Max. There we go. A lot of Anarch deck lists was loaded up. It's pretty good. Well, also I'm playing the cache refresh. Ugh, my arch nemesis. Ah. 
Uh, yeah, this is a little bit rough. Yeah. Um, I don't I actually haven't played against a Scorp lately, so um, I don't know if their their flavor is any different. Uh, so I wonder if this is a keeper. It's not um, bad. I mean, it's got it's got the the paperclip early. Um, it's got econ. Um, it, I mean, maw maw would be nice here. Maw would uh, be nice. Some sort of like hunter seeker hand disruption type thing is always good. Um, that's pretty expensive to install now. It is definitely. Um, it's iffy to me. I mean, yeah, I, I don't really know. Like, maybe you hope you like remove something else early, and then you're able to uh, deep data mine. Like having deep data mine in hand might be good. Yeah, it might be pretty good. Let's keep it. Cause yeah, I mean, if you if you mill deep data mining somewhere else, like he's gonna just nuke that. Yeah, and getting one of these down, like the deep data folding, will be good just to have it. Huh. Okay, so. Uh, and he he removed data folding from the game. All right, so we want to probably yeah dirty laundry the HQ and then see what we can do with the deep data mining. All right, that's good. Um. So I got eight credits. So you want a deep data mining here? I, I definitely do, yeah. Why so? Because it, it's it's five cards, and because um, you don't you're not putting any breakers at risk to Hunter Seeker. What about like hard hitting news? Do they run that? If he hard hitting news is you here, um, if you're worried about that, then you can credit up the next couple of um, let's, clicks. Let's just take it and see what happens. I haven't seen a whole lot of um, Scorpius with hard hitting news, but if that's a thing, then uh, <laughs> More I think you'll be okay. Today. All right, so wrap, Quartum, Hostile, Archer. This is a oh, great yeah. DDM. Yeah. This is a great one. Yeah. And they uh, already actually use the remove, so we still get it. Yep. Yeah, so we can same old thing it. Um, so. I can't really defend against hard hitting news, so I'm just gonna get my data folding out. Well, or we could poke at HQ a few times because we know that he has a couple of ETRs coming up. Um, we're not gonna be able to deal with them, and he's gonna if he has any agendas in HQ, he's gonna ice HQ first, then R and D. Because um, well, and also um, what's actually not bad is like we have nothing installed, so we can't trash it with like Hunter Seeker. Exactly. Yeah. You want to get as many early acts as you can versus uh, Scorpius. Uh, oh, we missed. That's fine. He might not have any. All right. So he's got wrap on HQ, boredom on R and D, or something like that. So I am gonna have to be careful of like you know losing levy and same old thing. So. Yep. Um. Uh, so I could go for the liberated accounts. I I think that liberated accounts is okay here. Um, awkward credit. Yeah. So I like installing either folding or daily cast instead of taking the last four off. Okay, so we got our levy. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Hack. So you got our. He's he's got one of our stim hacks. Uh oh. But um. I think I just want to get these installed. Credit, credit, install, install. Um. Did you want to hit peddler at all? So the, um, potentially. I mean, you can always like the the thing with peddlers is that if this guy is going very gung ho with his ability. And he's you not can saving it. For, he's not saving it for the right moment. Exactly. So, so what's on peddler? Sorry, I missed that. Liberated yeah, account. Uh, Liberated sure gamble, gamble. Daily cast. Okay, so so we bunch of 
not a whole lot there. All right, so he's going gung ho again. So now we can inject with impunity here. Um, all right, so he hit Black Orchestra. So now the question is, where did he put that Hordum? Um, so I feel like I want to draw. Um, maybe. So, so the thing is, is that we need, if we start poking R and D, um, he's going to have to res. Otherwise we get free accesses. And once he reses, then we're going to be able to either one install black orchestra or two see it's a wrap around, um, throw down the paper clip. That's probably then, an art. That's probably an archer on R and D. Could be an archer. Yeah. Well, that's great then. Yeah. Um, let's check HQ. Yeah, he, he might have something on HQ. Yeah. So there's the okay. Rat. Good to know. And I think I want to get a same old thing down just in case. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so he plays the arc lockdown on Black Orchestra. I think that was a mistake. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Because I, I, I have two, but Hordum's probably here. He's probably trying to rush this out. Yeah. Um... So Ma's gone. I got MK now. So yeah, I, I think that you're right that R&D is Archer. So um, I guess what we do is just maybe play Street Peddler down and then Deep Data Mine? Oh, did we whiff on that? Yeah, we whiffed. We got Ice Carver. Oh, okay, well, that's not a whiff at all then. Never mind. I just saw the other two events. So do you think maybe trying to get it Deep Data Mining right now? Yeah, I think that that's probably for the best. It could be a Hordum. Like, it could be two Hordums. I think it's Archer. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Archer, too. But um, Should we just go for it? We've seen yeah, these, I, I these, think are, these are fresh cards. Yeah. I mean, if we if we get it right, then we see, I don't know, we see five cards. That's pretty great. Mm -hmm. and he didn't res earlier, so... He is thinking about it quite a bit. It's like, man, I wish I scored that <laughs> advancement agenda earlier. So it is the other one. Oh, way. <laughs> come on, man. Not cool. And uh, we don't have an answer. That's fine. At least we don't lose it. Yeah, that's true. Um, should we run in server one to see if we can force him to make some reses? Um, I don't know. I think he's just going to get another Horda maybe. Yeah, there you go. I mean, it's good to, to get him to rest stuff, definitely. Because uh, like, we know that he's got like an IPO floating in hand still. Yeah, I like that line. Because, I mean, he's going to make some money, but he... Uh, All right, and so, so we're guessing that the archer is the one in front, right? I think so. Okay, so yeah. I don't want to lose Black Orchestra, so I feel like I... Yeah, I think that we. You're right. We definitely need to to start drawing here. Uh, I can also I can also that. use some of this stuff because it's gonna trash it and he can't use his ability now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can definitely install the ice carver. Um. Oh man. Um. I really wish I had an inject. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So I think I'm going to install, before his turn, the Ice Carver, and maybe, what do you think? The, the... I think the Ice Carver daily cast is what you want. You, you've yeah. got plenty of drift, and I don't think that you need to waste time clicking uh, the Liberateds. 
So I, I'd probably maybe draw one more time here just to. to Man, you know, we're getting risky here. We might get locked out of. Yeah, yeah, that would suck. <laughs> uh. I mean, we can probably draw one more time here. Like, well, money is not the issue here. The constraining thing is finding that black orchestra. Oh, there that is. So let's get rid of one of these. We'll hold on to one of them. Yeah. We can get rid of one of the levies. Yeah, we can. I mean, it's a juicy target, but it's um, not doing anything. Uh, Pad tap, um, daily cast, or gamble. Yeah, I think I think that's my best bet right now. I mean, inject is probably fine too. So he's trying to jam this. This is probably like an atlas or something, right? It could be. Yeah, it could also be just a baddie. Okay, we got it. Whew. All right. All right. So sad thing is, we only have we don't have any malls left. That that sucks. Um. So, I think this is this is probably the archer, right? Yep. With MK, that is strength six. What is it with MK? Because oh, then we also have ice carver. It's nine to break. Um. Wait. No. It's it's. Is it? What's yeah. It's, it's so nine strength, to break. Strength yeah. six. So. Strength five. Pump. Pump. Break. Break. But you, so don't have, you don't have to. That, you don't have to break all of them. You can let one of yeah. the trashes go. Uh, I don't think you can. I guess you could let the trashes go, but that's only if you know you're winning the game here. Well, oh wait, no, because he tra he got rid of the mom. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We we can allow it to be trashed. Yeah. How many stim hacks did this have? Two stim hacks. And the other ones. Two stim hacks. Three same old thing. Okay. Um, so I think the line here is we got to check this remote, right? Um. Yeah, I, I think that checking it would be good. Um. I mean, the question is, can we get in? Yes. Okay. Oh, I don't have Black Orchestra in the bin. I'd have to pre-install it, which is fine. I mean, you pre-install it, then it get trashed, then it gets trashed by Archer, so you don't really save anything. Ooh, that's true. Oh, so you just pay the three. It's better just to pay the three. If... It's it's equal, yeah. It's, it's it doesn't matter either way. Um. So, so you think Sure Gamble run in to deal with this Rashida? <laughs> <laughs> um so so what happens if we do sure gamble and then just play black orchestra run if he reses archer then black orchestra just gets trashed but he's down in uh, an oak town that's and true and you can reinstall it on running r d that's true let's do that i like that But yeah, that's an expensive thing for like that losing an Oaktown's expensive for him to lose, to be honest. Yeah. And so I think we have both Maxwell's gone, which really stinks. Mm, we just lost one. Oh, there's a pad tap in there. Yeah. Okay, so the last card is the second Maxwell then. I think. Uh, so there's one Maxwell, there's one and then the there's none in the bin. These are just pad taps. Okay, so then we've got we've got two oh. Maxwells in the deck. So, so no Archer got. installed. All right, cool. Even cheaper. We're in. Could be a baddie, yeah. Oh no, there we go. Um. So we do run the risk of, I and mean, we could get hundred secret here, yeah, and be locked out. <laughs> so check R and D, right? I think so. Sapper, break that, break that, 
Get out of here, sapper. Can I forward? Yep. I can't trash it then. Yeah. That's true. I am oh. broke. <laughs> I mean, we've got plenty of money coming in. The big issue is if we lose Black Orchestra. That'll be... Yeah, I mean, that, that's the thing is that that's also why we don't want to trash that. Because if we trash that, then there could be... The second card down could be Hunter Seeker. And you don't want that to happen. Yeah. The other thing, too, um, a play here, if we do get locked out, I'm kind of thinking ahead, is we want to try and find this Maxwell James to be able to deal with this Hordum. Yeah. Okay. So that's gone. So our answer here is, if they install in this remote, we got to we got to dig for uh, Maxwell James if we don't lose it. So Maxwell James is yeah. Paperclip is gone. Yeah, that's fine. I think I inject here. Yep, yep, yep. Now the question is, do we want to install it right? Oh yeah, I guess we already did. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So eventually we're gonna wanna like install paperclip and poke mm -hmm. and levy. Is that a ruse? Um he he's only gonna have so many um But I only have so many Maxwell James. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I, I think that you saving that here is fine. I think that you can install paperclip, poke a little bit, and then play like a hacktivist or something like that. Um, if he does have a uh, ratchet or something like that, then at least it'll cost him a card or something. Oof. You think hacktivist? Um, I mean, it, it may not be that necessary. You could also just poke two more times too. Yeah, let's do it. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Even against. Okay, let's jump here into this one. You there, Jonas? Ah, sorry. Yeah, I just muted myself for a sec. No worries. Um, so we're here. We're playing. Uh, a midi deck. Makundu. MT. MT, is that how you say it? I don't know. That's how I like <laughs> to say it. Uh, so this starting hand, Ice Carver's not bad against Cortex Lock and all that. Ice Carver's great. Data folding, I think, is always good to start with. Three Peddler. I'm going to keep this. Uh, the only thing to worry about is like a, a scarcity turn one. Yep. Getting 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 hacktivist online, I think I think that's pretty good. Like you, you I feel like he's gonna have some sort of a, a ratchet or something like that. Mm -hmm. He's gonna have um, NGOs. Yeah, there there you go. That's the NGO. All right, quick hacktivist before he can do anything. I'm just gonna give him a second. <laughs> You're too nice. So that was that was dangerous. I find I find they don't want to waste their ice on archives. Okay, good idea then. <laughs> um, there has been a few people who have done that, but I found like them doing that is actually the worst thing that can be is I hit like a cortex lock, which sucks, and like I get knocked my hand out, but I just draw back up then, and I wasn't gonna yeah, die. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is like that a nasty, but like he can't afford it. Like he was really poor, so 
Yep. Is he beeping me? Uh, not fast enough. Sorry, uh, holding last. Yeah, let's do that. Get that drip going. And the next turn we have liberated on the peddler. Liberated, I guess, is what he says, right? Zero. Huh? It's a bold <laughs> call right there. <laughs> okay by me. Yeah. Uh, so anything I hear I want to do? Oh, I guess the only thing I can do. So deep data mining. Okay, so I'm gonna bring out my liberated. Click this up. Get Maybe ice carver. Drawing a little bit. Yeah, ice carver. You definitely want to get that out. Yeah, I just want to get this down so that, and then I'll start kind of firing, getting my breakers. Yeah, you want to start milling those. Yeah. Okay, so that's probably an agenda. He advances at Nisei. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Could be a rash. To... Okay, so draw, 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 draw again. Yeah. And get the same old down. Yeah, yeah, I want to protect that. Also, it lets you be flexible in case he uses MT somewhere, and then you can. Uh, Crack back with a deep data mine. Losing these hacktivists. Let's draw. I really want to. Get them out in the pin. All right. Yeah. Maw definitely great right here. And. Uh, so I'm going to sure gamble Maw and then discard. I mean, you could also just click liberated Maw and then pitch both of the breakers. That's a good idea. Yeah. And now I can start poking around, I think. Yep, yep. Going for... We might be able to do a uh, contest this with, like, Maxwell. Yeah, we definitely want to hit HQ here. So let's run HQ. Woo! All right. Uh, <laughs> that's a lot, of, a lot of points right there. Um... Yeah, and so if we've got all three going, so we can definitely Maxwell run here. And if he ever reses, he, he can't res anything big here. Nice. <laughs> all right, so I think I sure gamble. Do we? Do we? I don't know if we go down to four cards here. What if he has some sort of crazy punitive or something like that here? I mean, he's got SSLs, but like, I, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. So if I hit play sure gamble, I go to four. I still like can't beat it. it. Yeah. So I just gain a credit here, I think. Yeah. He might be on a punitive plan. Double punitive would do it, right? He could just be flooded. Yeah. Um. So yeah, you gotta you, again. You gotta crack HQ here. Um. See if he uses it. Otherwise, you get your Maxwell. There we go. Ooh, I love Ice Carver. So good. Um, this is probably an NGO. Want to gamble first, or? Yeah, let's gamble. I'm gonna run this. I think it's an NGO. Yeah. He's not gonna res his ice. Uh... Oh no, maybe Obacata or SSL. Yep. There we go. Yeah, it seems like he was a little bit flooded there. <laughs> yeah, hard to install ice. If you, uh, with, hard to use your ability with no ice. 
so like I like this ability, but that's my biggest beef, right? Is I actually like playing lice, ice light decks, mm-hmm. right? Like moons and that kind of stuff. So you have to have tons of ice in these. Yeah, I mean, or or you need to be able to get through your deck really quickly in order to just see all that ice. Yeah, exactly. But Rashida and stuff helps with that. Rashida, M- Moons helps with it too. Moon, Moons is always good. Um, was kind of a deck. I've I've been playing a little bit of um, the MTI with the Surveyor, and it's pretty nasty as well. That thing is ridiculous. Well, and the thing Take is, at the bottom of the server. Oh my gosh, what's what what's crazy about that is it's like. The idea is like a better Jinja grid, right? Because yeah, like exactly. it doesn't cost you anything except your idea ability, but all they have to do is run, <laughs> and you just keep making this massive server. Yep. Yeah. So most of those anarchs are like the soccer tournament stuff, the cash refresh. Like, I've been, I picked freedom, and then I I found like, oh man, this is really hard without having like the bin breakers and all that stuff yeah um yeah you're on like the virus breakers maybe yeah so i'm using lamb and yusuf and consume and uh basically what what? are you on force of nature what what's your uh code gate breaker uh gordian blade (laughs) oh nice uh i only have i only have one (laughs) Uh, uh, it makes sense though. But I run three knifed and three hippo. Um, oh man, that's nasty. So like basic, a lot of times they don't res that outer ice to be honest, and then I just like knife it. Um, and then the main plan is, it's just uh, clan vengeance and zero is just amazing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and so yeah, that's pretty sick. if I can get that online, it's basically you zero for a credit and a net get a counter surveillance counter and then if you have consume out when you pop that you get like you know all these tokens on consume the biggest problem with it is Wait, like so you get so if you trash five cards with clan vengeance you get five tokens on consume which is 10 credits oh what the heck man <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I didn't know it counted each of them i thought it was like whenever you trash at least one card like i no, you get all of them Oh man, that's disgusting. Yeah, so it like once it gets snowballing, it's crazy. I mean, you you still got imp and stuff like that too. So I don't even know yeah. if I ran an imp actually. The the imp and the the knob curry or whatever is pretty nasty. I, yeah, and real net runner and and full um, gloves off net runner. Oh yeah, oh, it's yeah. it is crazy. Uh... Hey, I was here first. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> Wait, you turn. I wish it'd be nice if I had like a queue. Like, this person was next in line. Come on, Jinteki, get on the matchmaking. So I do. I, I like well, the work that they have done on this is pretty amazing. However, I've played a, a little bit of a Game of Thrones on the Throne the Iron Throne dot net, mm-hmm. and they've made some really good improvements to that one that are really. I think like we should implement on this one. Like what? Um, just like, it's just like simple UI stuff is a little, a little bit better. I think, I think also, um, they do a really good job with actions. Like you have the ability to turn them off or not, but you can turn it on when, when it, and it will like cue you like, Hey, this is an action window. And it kind of guides you through those a little bit more, hmm. which is kind of nice, but you can turn them on or off. Like you can say, Oh, I want these on or off. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's that would be good. Like, like especially if you could like slow somebody down if you have like clot or something like that. Exactly. On the the ready. Ooh. All right. Okay. So. I mean, I I kind of like this. I, I think that we've got two stim hacks in our hand. We can threaten if they make an early remote play. Like the only thing we gotta worry about is a turn one, um, uh, AR security or something like that. So I was playing like tur- uh, like Turbo Max version, and it had like Hippo and stuff. And 
every time I played CTM, they would sneak out. This is the exact situation. So like one of these is an AR. It has to be. Yeah. And so I have to check them. Mm-hmm. So the question is, do they have hard hitting news? Do I inject and go to four and check all these? I mean, what? If, so what if you get hard hitting news here? You, you have nothing installed. Well, I want. I don't want to do Moomed virtual tour. So if I inject and go to four, I'm better off. But I might hit an agenda, right? I mean, I might hit a breaker. That's true. Yeah. Or I play Maxwell like, James. Again, I, I don't think that, like, if you get hard-hitting news here, it's not the worst. No. Although, you do have, eh. Yeah, you, you don't want to play Hacktivist just yet. You want to save it for the next turn or two. Like, I think that you just go, like, I, I just want to stim hack like crazy here and just, like, clear everything out. <laughs> like, stim hack, like, where, where do you think that the, uh, who knows? The, the prize is hiding behind door number one, two, or three here. Uh, I have no clue. I'm not good at that stuff. I just would roll the dice. All right. We're going three. We're going to go three, then we're going to go one, then we're going to go two. So I'm going to stim hack three or just run three? Stim hack it, definitely. Because you want to stim hack the first one that you trash. Um, because it basically clears the um, trace in case you encounter a, a commercial bankers group or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah, definitely trash that guy. And then I can pay the trace. Yep. And... Let's pay four. Oh man, stim, so, stim hack. Oh, lost the hacktivist. So another thing you can do is you can play Maxwell down if you're worried about, um, say, Mad Virtual Tour. So you play Maxwell down and then you check both of the two. I think so. Excellent to trash there. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I think yeah we have to here. And I might get hard and used, but what's the that's the worst. Yep. Trashing that stuff's way better. Yay. All right. Yeah, we're we're out of the out in the clear. Um Just take money, I think, right? Yeah, I think we gotta just take four here in preparation for um liberated. I still think that was a great turn. Yeah, definitely. And and we hit the we hit the right one we hit the DBS there. Uh, Do we check it? Play inject and check it. <laughs> I I mean then we're we're still risking the hard hitting new stuff. Like I I just want to um, play the um, liberated down. So credit liberated, take liberated and play daily casts. Like, what if this is an AR? You don't think it's an AR? It could be an AR. AR is the worst case scenario. It is the absolute worst. But, um... I think it's an AR. <sighs> <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, you would, yeah, but... It was a virtual tour. Yeah. Or, or calibration testing. Like, that would be bad, too. Oh, for the AR, I see. Yeah. But now, we're in the clear. We're gonna... Um, stim hack that. I would like um, all these pad tabs and stuff, but I mean, pad tabs are fine, but we're clearing everything out, so we probably want to play the same old thing first and then stim hack it. Gotcha. What a card! Yeah, and yeah, we got more where that came from. Does it matter? Um, probably, yeah, hit that first. And then, remember only to pay three for this. Because I want the tag? No, because you got Maxwell. Oh, I overpaid last time. I uh, yeah, we had the, the um, stim hack box. It didn't matter. Wait, yeah, now, I'm, the... but now I'm going to use one of my own credits. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. Because it's a Moonbed virtual tour. Yeah. What I should have done is just traced up to four so that I'm below the five. No, you want to you clear that out. You, you can pay four to clear that out. I see what you're saying. Clear it out because you don't want him to use it again. Yeah, and then just take money here. And I actually kept the card I wanted, which is Inject. Yeah. What we want right now here is that Maw. We want that sweet, sweet Maw. Okay, so do I poke HQ to like deal with this ice? Um, yeah, I think that, that poking HQ is good. Um, again, I, I think that maybe you inject first. Yeah, that's so what I'm gonna do. Up. Um, hmm. I mean, I guess it's not horrible. I got, so I'm gonna poke HQ. Yeah. Do I pay into this? Um, no, I, I don't think that you need to right now. I mean, it could be an AR that that would suck, but it's cleared out a lot, so that's not bad. Yeah. And once the AR is down, we can kind of start using Ma to deal with stuff as well, right? Mm-hmm. And then just maybe gamble dirty laundry archives. Yeah, that's what I was gonna thinking. Got to click that. We get extra hard. That's a good sign. I really do want to see a ma. Come on, show me ma. Oh, there, there's, there's ma. <laughs> um, I'm gonna draw. Yeah. Do we deal with server six? I think if they were going to try and score an AR, they'd do it in server five. Yep. Yeah, I think that it could be like a pad, a DBS. Um, so I think we just keep making money. We daily cast and take four, or daily cast and draw. And oh, a, I got to pitch two cards. Maybe a Levy and uh, another Liberated, or the Maxwell? Maxwell right now. Okay. Yeah, I think you're right drawing there. I think we need to... That's the card we need to see right now. Is that Maw? Maw and Paperclip. Paperclip. Yeah, Maw, Paperclip. Some Street Peddlers to, to maybe get both of them on there. So I wonder what they're doing not resing. I don't know. But I think that I think that now is the, the time that we... I mean, I think that we could just trash everything here like run server seven run server eight like yeah we definitely have to trash that there do i pay uh, into the trace yeah i think you pay here oh because i have the link yeah you have the link so it's basically saves you just, a click yeah it trades a one credit for an extra click thank you cool uh, that is an interesting place to put that. Maybe they're uh, desperate. Yeah, they, they could be. Um, definitely check server six here as well. I mean, if anything, it's just a trash. It'd be a team sponsorship. Yeah, definitely get rid of that. So expensive. Um, gamble here, yeah. We have been controlling their board all right. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, so inject in hacktivist. <sighs> Do we check this? I kind of want to draw. Yeah, I think the drawing's okay here. Hmm. Um, just throw down same old thing. Data folding pad tap. I let this go. 
Um, I mean, you could always like. I, I guess there's no harm in checking. Like, but they're gonna res it and like, DB, they get maybe one DBS fire or something like that. Yeah, like I, I mean, that's the thing is that are they gonna try to sneak that out there? Uh, We've been checking a lot, and I don't think they are. Yeah, I, I think that we can let that one slide. And they might get there us though. <laughs> I wonder if server five is, I don't know. It's I feel like five. it's global food. I could just be slow rolling it. I mean, it could be that it could be a calibration testing. Like, yeah, could be another room bad virtual tour, but there we go. Okay. So. We got our paperclip. Ma is in the next six cards. I really kind of want it. Um. Yeah. The. Yeah. I guess. I guess we're we're digging for it. There we go. Ma. But, and run server nine. What's the worst that it could be? Um. I think I wait. I think I'm just going to take money. Okay. Because I think they're going to advance whatever this is. It's probably sure. a team sponsorship, right? That's probably actually what it, it is. Be, yeah. But I can't really deal with team sponsorship. Four and then three, seven credits. That puts me down pretty poor. I'd rather have money. I mean, yeah, you don't want to trash it. Like I was just saying, get the maw. Like just knock something from his hand. I hear you. I'm going to wait. Yeah. Yep, I think that's what it is. So now, what do they bring back? Like a Rashida and Server 5, maybe? Wow, yeah. Moonbed Virtual Tour. In Server 10. Maybe they're going to stack something on it. I don't know. So this um, this card right here is. Um, got two, three hacktivists, two more. Got my daily cast liberated. It's another we inject. Got one no, wait, no, we got three pat tabs. It's another inject. Okay. Which I don't need. Because there's well, three injects, right? Yeah. So let's get our ma trigger here. Do we want to trash this? We probably want to trash it, right? Let's get a mod trigger first, though. Yeah. Um. So. So, like, I'm thinking, like, well, this is what I'm thinking is, um, this like takes. I don't know if they'll get out of control a little bit. We probably want to trash this, right? Yeah, I think we want to like. I'm that's. I'm just wondering if we want to like same old stim hack it or something like that. But um, yeah, I think we definitely want to trash that here. Same old stim hack. Uh, then we're down to two cards, which is fine. It's, it's going to cost us seven to pay the trace. That puts us in a, a fine spot. I say we just deal with it. Yeah. Um, yeah, daily casts. Mm, I guess just gain a credit. Mm hmm. I think we can start pressuring HQ too, though. With paperclip. Yeah. yeah, I think that that's definitely a good thing. Um, okay, so they got. Oh, it's deep data mining is what we were missing. There's only. Uh, uh, oh, there was three injects. Deep data mining might not be bad. So. All right, so he's resing Rashida here. Um, so we can. I think we can leave server ten there. So I think. 
what we can do is we can run HQ and then same olds to hack the remote. Uh, install paperclip, yes. Oh, because now I get Maxwell James too. Yep, exactly. Let's stim hack this sucker. Man, stim hack. Jeez. What a card. It's amazing. Sure. Thank you. Yep. And virtual tour. I am pretty poor. Mm hmm. Do I pay the trace? Yeah. 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 It's, it doesn't really matter because you're probably going to be clicking up. Yeah. And then next turn, depending on if I get hard hitting news or not. Yep. Oh, I did gain a credit from Pad Tap. Neat. hitting news yep so I'm gonna I'm gonna be stuck with one tag oh I can pay for this I just pay for it right yeah I, I think he goofed but do I tell him yeah I, I would ask him just you want to pay one more because I, I get the feeling that he was trying to trace you out there <laughs> All right, so we can clear the tags, I guess. Yeah. The data folding and the daily cast all worked in my favor. I'm pad tabs dripping in like crazy. Breaking news? <laughs> yeah. Commercial bankers into server 10. <sighs> I want to deal with that, but I run the risk of losing levy. I mean, you can deal with it, right? Well, Just run it and don't trash the Mumbad virtual door. Oh, that is true. The perfect time to run. <laughs> <laughs> Unless he can find a way to like magically make you gain more money. And I can't pay the trace here. Yeah, but that's fine. So I take a tag. And you don't trash that guy. Maw the heart hitting news away. Hopefully. And do I just gain money and. Gain two bucks on take shake the tag, yeah. Yeah, I think that's the right call. Can't let that commercial bankers go. Nah. Such a crazy powerful card. Oh, you got all three of them. That's awesome. What? All three of the bankers. Yeah. And you've got two of the the team sponsorships. Three Rashida. He's yeah. Wow, yeah, he's got all of his econ cards. 
Um, what is this? Probably a DBS or something. Well, the good thing is, is that I think we can go check. I got five credits. <laughs> um, so we credit, liberated, check, and then take money off. Ma, what a pain. <laughs> Does he even want to res that? Be at four credits. I think we're actually in a good spot here. I mean, we're, he can't score anything, really. Like, unless he gets some sort of calibration testing going. All right, so he's, he's got hedge fund. We, are, we have mod five cards, though, it looks like. Oh, he's bringing stuff back, so. Yeah, so he's, he's going to get that... Uh, Okay, so he lost some agendas here. Yeah, he got some face down stuff. I uh, like. I think I want to take three off of this. Hit server twelve or thirteen. Yeah, I think take three off and then get them all trigger is good. And then I'm gonna levy next turn. Yeah. I won't have MK, but. I think it's okay. I mean, most of the, the decks that I've seen out of CTM, they're running like uh, um, turnpikes, but they aren't really running any stuff like Cobra or anything like that. Yeah. So there's something there. What is that? Oh, three unknown cards. So that's. No, Moomed Virtual Tour is the bottom. And a calibration testing, probably, right? Maybe two calibration testings? Um, It could definitely be a calibration testing here. I feel like I want to levy, get a mod trigger, and then install some cards or get some money or whatever, whatever I get. Um, I, I think levy, and if you get a stim hack, then you just stim hack that remote. Um, or peddler, and then if you get a stim hack on that same old stim hack, it. Oh, boo. It's okay. Do I get a ma trigger here? Definitely, yeah. Yeah, I think you want to try and get a ma. Uh, I don't love this team sponsorship being here. I mean, you can also just. Straight up trash it for seven. Seven puts me at seven. I would have to clear the tags if he has it. You'd have enough to clear the tags. Yeah, exactly. What I don't want is to him get another install and then yeah. kind of like start taking off. Yeah, I, I think that you want to trash the team sponsorship. Yeah. That's my guess. Daily business show can be really problematic as well. Yeah. But getting rid of this is, I think, important. I also, I don't think that the hard hitting news threat is as good now. Oh, no. Uh, what do I get rid of here? I don't really need Ice Carver, right? No, you don't need Ice Carver. Like, I mean, he's not, like, rezzing toll booths anytime soon. So that was a good call. AR, yeah. there it is. Yeah. That's okay. Man, if only we had turntable. <laughs> turntable is pretty awesome. Um, I mean, you can also maybe poke HQ a little bit here. Yeah, I'm gonna. That's a good idea. I wonder what this ice is on R and D because he's pretty poor right now too. Yeah. I'm gonna check it. It might be bad, but. Hard hitting news. So probably not installing that. Um, 
liberated. Probably not. Uh, I'm going to gain one credit from data folding. I just think I take money. Yeah, I think take money is good here. Get rid of inject. Yep. I don't need that right now. Ooh, pad tap is so freaking good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a zero credit uh, data folding. It gets it gets fired a lot. Yeah. So let's get a ma trigger off of HQ. Yep. I wonder if they have toll booth on R and D. Maybe. IP block. Uh. I'm not tracing. You got Maxwell. Oh, so trace? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that is better. It's, it saves me one. Um, do I check archives? There's um, six face downs. Do you need to right now? Like, he, I don't think he's running too preemptive here. I think he just... Um, just keep checking and... Checking money, yeah. Like, he... Like eventually you can check that. So if I like, I want to put daily cast down. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, he's in a bad spot, I think. Do we have any stim hacks in the bin? Uh, not quite. No, we've got activists. We've got. So that is something there. Mm hmm. I could peddler to see if I can get one. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Peddler's always good. Stim hack? Oh, but I have to install paperclip. Wow. Yeah. Oh, well. Um. So what could this be? So that is... It feels like it's a... Is it just two Moonbed virtual tours? It could be, yeah. I mean, maybe I poke R and D. He has an exchange in hand. Yep. He's probably bottoming his agendas, right? Um, probably, yeah. Like, I, I don't think that, like, if you steal, like, an AR and another. Uh, Beal or something like that. He just can't win without having to advance stuff. Yeah. Like, because you're out moneying him. Um, so maybe do run R&D one more time and then check archives. Yeah, that's a good call. Oh. I mean, if he's buried, been burying at agendas, then they're going to be coming up soon. Another preemptive. Mm, I got to so check. So now we definitely need to run our lives. <laughs> and that's game, right? Nice. I don't know, Jonas. This seems like a strong deck. Yeah, it definitely seems like a strong deck. I uh, think I might want to check it out, <laughs> play a few games with it before um, heading up to Cleveland. You're going out to the Cleveland Regional? Yeah, yeah. Oh, when so, is that one? Um, I it's it's somewhere in Cleveland. Um Or when is it? It's this uh Saturday? Oh, it's a Saturday. Oh wow. Yeah. So. Um driving up with um Jake Tunstall. There's a there's a bunch of other people coming too. Cool, um man. Dean Tran coming down from Canada. It's so. like a eight hour drive? What's that? It's like an eight hour drive. Yeah, yeah, it'll be quite the road trip, but um I'm excited. Cool it's man. My first regional this year, so Yeah, well hey, well those are some fun games and I thought those were pretty good. Um yeah, so we could yeah. probably probably call it a night for tonight. But um yeah, thanks for uh, coming on here and coaching me. I really appreciate it and um 
you know, I might have a deck here for you to take to regionals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this was awesome. Thanks for having me. Yeah, um, and uh, those of you guys who are watching, thanks for watching, and have a good night. Bye.